Hello, Hateless Gaming here. Uh, I wanted to bring you guys the uh, general spiel uh, that you get whenever you join a fleet. Uh, kind of, you know, setting your broadcast settings and uh, making sure that your CSPA charges are off and, uh, you know, broadcasting for reps and all that. Uh, and so this is going to be just a quick guide on how to set everything up uh, so that you're ready to join a public fleet and a quick kind of rundown on how an FC will communicate with you uh, directly, kind of indirectly at the same time. Uh, rather than just giving basic orders, but uh, communicating where the reps need to go, communicating where you're going, and all that. Uh, most FCs use this, and it is uh, how the FC communicates with the members without having to have a, a voice line uh, being used for a lot of communications. And it makes uh, operating in fleet a lot easier uh, with your friends as you can communicate a lot of things through messaging and broadcasting versus saying out loud uh, all the time. It makes for easy an easy way to um, communicate rapidly. Uh, generally, it's it's most things are said both over voice and through broadcast, and having understanding how all that works is super helpful and super nifty. Anyways, without further ado, uh, we're gonna go right on into my account here, uh, Buck Warbash. I have all these uh, setting windows, setting menus open. Uh, first, I have here uh, my fleet window, uh, which is the most important one. Uh, this is the one that you're going to interact with uh, to interact with your fleet. When you join a fleet, you get invited, you get put into a squad wing or fleet command, depending on you know, your role. And some fleets will have them labeled for the roles and go into your squad that matches your role. And it makes it really simple uh, to kind of figure out what's going on. Uh, on the second tab of this, uh, we have uh, history, uh, which is the subject of this video, is this tab here. And then these two tabs I'm not going to talk about today. This is for your FC uh, to warp you guys' informations. And the Fleet Finder is for finding public fleets that you can join or uh, fleets that are within your alliance uh, that you can join as well. So for joining fleets that are running in different groups, it's pretty uh, neat uh, what you can do in the Fleet Finder. They just recently redid this, and it's a really cool tool. Um, anyways, we're going to go to the history. Um to be able to view the history properly and be able to broadcast properly, uh, the first thing that FCs will tell you is to look for these little chevrons in the corner right here. And uh, you can expand and close this menu by opening up the chevrons. They'll ask you if the little chevrons are pointing up or if they're pointing down. If they're pointing up, you see the little arrows. And if they're pointing down, you see the little upward arrows. They'll direct you towards this little arrow, tell you to open it up. And then they will uh, kind of explain that you could broadcast for shield by hitting this one. You can broadcast for armor by hitting this one. And then uh, you can broadcast for capacitor for this one. And then finally, in position when uh, you're not taking damage on this one. Um, yeah, but they'll, they'll, they'll tell you how to broadcast for things and ensure that you understand how to broadcast for things. Uh, as this is how you tell your Logi that you uh, need reps or capacitor. And it's the only way to get it from friends because... You can't just broadcast over voice when the FC is calling out targets. You can't say, hey, this I need reps, uh, because saying I need reps is the number one way to not get reps, because who is I is the question that always gets asked, because you know they need to know which character needs the reps and, and all that so that they can properly uh, send you the reps that you need. Um, anyways, so that's... Uh, for uh, setting shortcuts for that, because you can in general settings here, uh, or not general settings, but in shortcuts, you can look for navigation and you can set shortcuts for armor. Uh, I put mine to be A, uh, capacitor can be C, shields, I, I have mine S. I, I set it in a way that I, I uh, remember. And then lastly, in position is super important that you set a hotkey for, and for me it's D, so ASD. I don't really use hotkeys to, to navigate in EVE Online. So I know a couple of these interfere with uh, navigation settings uh, with my particular setup, and I've made that compromise for setting the hotkeys how I, ha how I have them. Uh, but it's really important to have your, your hotkeys set for broadcasting. Uh, FCs will issue orders in several ways through this menu as well. Uh, they can uh, right-click, and they can broadcast uh, a line to, and you'll see that pop up. Uh, and then you can broadcast uh, warp to as an FC as well. And you can, uh, those messages will pop up in your feed. Uh, you can set up broadcast colors uh, by going into the fleet window, going to broadcast settings, 
and you open up this menu right here and in this menu uh, you can set uh, needs armor for example yellow say needs shields for blue uh, a broadcasted target can be made red and you can set different colors for everything so that you can uh, quickly know what your FC is saying uh, before or just by the color of it so you right click it and you do the action that is associated with that so for people broadcasting for logic you can right click this and, and lock the target member straight out of the menu uh, which is really helpful for logic and then they can hit control shift and and de-click people that are broadcasted in position so you can logic almost purely out of this menu without having to actually interact with your overview as well as lock targets out of this menu without having to find the target in your overview so say somebody broadcasts the target uh, so if I broadcast this as a target, uh, then I can hit control and click on it and begin locking the thing directly out of the broadcast history as well as uh, whatever's called for whatever reason. You can hold control and click on it and then instantly lock what's in the broadcast history. This is why this menu is so powerful and why it is pretty much 90% of what you interact with when you're in a fleet. Um, the other thing that I wanted to... Uh, touch on is that in that same menu where you can set your uh your uh broadcast uh shortcuts here uh you can also change your uh you can change hotkeys for broadcasting as an fc so there's a bunch of fc hotkeys you can set and then the last thing that's super important that i should have mentioned first is that below this little arrow there's uh additional arrows and whatever setting this is clicked on has a direct impact on who in the fleet will get your broadcast for general fleet use, unless told otherwise, uh, you want this to be uh, all four pointing towards all four corners. That way, everybody in the fleet will receive your broadcast. Otherwise, you can set them. The other setting is only in your group, so that means only your squad will see your broadcast. And then the other one is only leadership will see your broadcast. So superiors. So going directly up up the chain from your uh, the squad commander, wing commander, and FC will see your broadcast. You can have it set this way. Uh, so interacting with this, that's what happens. You want this set to everybody when you're broadcasting for shields. Uh, and as an FC, you definitely want it to be broadcast or set to broadcast so that everybody can see what you're uh, targeting. Uh, the other thing that I want to mention uh, is uh, setting up your overview for tags. Uh, right now, mine is not, but I have it set up so it's really easy. If you hit this little icon right here, uh, you can go ahead and open overview settings. And then in the columns tab, uh, by default, I believe this is on the bottom. Uh, you can bring up, you can check tags, and then it'll bring open a tag menu. And then when an FC decides to tag things, uh, which it looks like I'm not able to tag these. Um, so if the FC tags something, uh, it'll get tagged and you'll be able to see that tag. Uh, so if the FC is tagging, uh, you can shoot things in the order that the FC is wanting you to. Uh, and that becomes really helpful when you have a tagger in fleet. Uh, sometimes also, when you broadcast a target, uh, I believe it gets uh, shown in that as well when a target gets broadcasted. So if we broadcast target again, it's actually not gonna show there, but it does get there. And then uh, an icon on top of the thing in space will be shown as well whenever you broadcast target. That little uh, target icon uh, generally means target and then the tag is also right next to it, uh, which is super helpful uh, for calling uh, primary, secondary, and tertiary targets. Um, and then the last thing, I got one more thing that I want to talk about uh, for broadcasting and whatnot. Uh, for you older players uh, that have been around for a while, uh, if you go into your uh, your mails and you hit this little cog right here, and you open up the settings, uh, there's a setting called uh, the CSPA charge. Uh, and some of you guys that are being you know, constantly bugged, you can charge people ISK. Uh, you don't get the ISK, but you can make it so that people have to pay ISK in order to talk to you. Uh, so you can set this to, you know, a million ISK or, you know, 10 million ISK if, if you're having a problem being spammed. You can temporarily set a, uh, a CSPA charge and it will stop a lot of spam as it then, then starts costing them ISK to do so. Uh, by default, this is set to zero. And for most public uh, interactions, when you when uh, you ask for like an except for fleet, uh, it is expected that your CSPA charge is off. Uh, generally, FCs will pay the like 4,000 is because they don't care. But sometimes people will have it set to like 1 million or something, and FCs will refuse to uh, sign you up for fleet if you have a CSPA charge. It is very common to do, um, but it is also a very useful thing if you're getting spammed in the game. Um, 
but yeah, uh, that's kind of setting up your broadcast settings and making sure that you're ready for your first fleet whenever you join your first fleet. So now you guys all that have watched this video know how to broadcast, know how to set color for broadcast, know how to set your tags up, and also are ready to join public fleets. Uh, make sure, uh, one last tip and note is make sure to broadcast once for shields, once you're yellow box, and you'll get red box, you'll take damage. As soon as you get yellow box again, you broadcast in position. Uh, so you broadcast for your reps, and then once you are no longer taking damage, you broadcast in position, uh, and then uh, yellow boxes will turn red again. You would broadcast for shields again when they turn from yellow to red. So when you're currently being yellow box, you're on high alert, and when you get yellow box, you have to broadcast then. If you start broadcasting when you get red boxed, you're gonna be in trouble. So broadcast on the yellow boxes, guys. But if you've already taken damage and you've caught reps and they're the only yellow boxing you, broadcast in position so that the logic can unlock you and get onto the next target. Super important to broadcast properly so that you have a better time in fleet. Until next time, guys, fly fun, keep on bringing each other up, and I'll see you guys in the next one.